Hello traders, this is Dr. Zain Aga from Zwinner.com. Here are the news that you need to trade during the week 12th September to 16th of September 2022. But first the disclaimer, forex trading carries high risk. Do not trade with the money you cannot afford to lose. This is for educational purpose only. I am not a financial advisor, therefore I will not be held responsible for any loss. Please trade on a demo account first until you are confident. On Monday at 7 a.m. London time, we have the GDP monthly coming out from Great Britain. So it's expected to come out at 0.3 as against minus 0.6% last. So it's a good indication. So it's good for the British pound. If it comes out at 0.5% or more, then buy the British pound. If it comes out in a negative figure, then sell the British pound. Then uh, on Tuesday, the 13th of September at 1.30 p.m. Uh, UK time, London time, we have the CPI uh, coming out of USA. So it's a consumer price index. So the previous one was 0.0% and it expected to go down to minus 0.1%. So if it goes 1% or more, then uh, you need to buy the USD. If it goes minus 0.3% or less, then you need to sell the US dollar. And then also at the same time, you have the core CPI. So that is again expected the same as last month at 0.3%. If it comes out at 0.5%, or more you need to buy US dollar if it comes out to zero percent or less then you need to sell the US dollar then on Wednesday the 14th at 7 a.m. we have the CPI the yearly CPI coming out of Great Britain so it's expected to come out at 10.1 percent as against the same last month if it comes out more than say 12%, then uh, you need to buy a British pound. If it comes out less than 7%, then you need to sell the British pound. Then at 1.30 p.m. London time, you have the uh, producer price index coming out at 1.30 p.m. and it's expected to come out 0.1% uh, as against 0. 5%. So it's a bit better, expected to be better than last month. But if it comes out in a positive number, then you need to buy the US dollar. If it comes out in minus 1% or less, then you need to sell the US dollar. Then at, then at 11.45 p.m., you have the news GDP coming out from New Zealand. It's expected to come out at 1% as against 0.2%. So it's a good indicator. It's showing uh, the GDP is getting better. So if it comes out more than 1.5%, then you need to buy the New Zealand dollar. If it comes out minus 0.5% or less, then you need to sell the New Zealand dollar. Then on Thursday, 15 September, at uh, 2.30 a.m. London time, you have the employment change coming out of Australia. Now, the figures uh, seems to be very good. 35.5 thousand as against minus 40.9 thousand. So, if it comes out at 30, 40 K or more, then that's very good for the Australian dollar. So you need to buy the Australian dollar. If it comes out in any minus figure, you need to sell the Australian dollar. Now at the same time, keep an eye on the unemployment rate. The un unemployment is expected to be the same like last month, 3.4%. Uh, 
if the unemployment rate goes four percent or more then you need to sell the Australian dollar if it drops less less than three percent then you need to buy the Australian dollar then on the same day 15th of September at 1 30 p.m. we have news coming out of USA and is the core retail sales monthly figure and uh, it is expected to come out at 0.1 percent as against 0.4 percent previous month so it's expected that uh, it's going to go down so if it comes out as minus figure zero percent or any minus figure then you need to sell the US dollar if it comes out more than 0.5 percent then you need to buy the US dollar then you also have the at the same time Empire State Manufacturing Index that's also coming out at uh, is expected to come at minus 15 as against minus 31.3 so you can ignore that for the time being and then we have the same retail sales so but the core retail sales will cover your your uh, trade then on Friday we have no other news other than the preliminary UM consumer sentiment coming out of USA is coming is expected to come out at 59.8 as against 58.2 revised so if it comes out at 65 or more then you need to buy the US dollar and if it comes out less than 50 you need to sell the US dollar now other than that there isn't much but it's going to be quite a busy week so I hope you all make good money and wish you all the best take care bye bye